Steve Juice, not community reporter. Five to twelve. Hamilton Square. Birkenhead. Just staking out the gap. I'm here today at the Revolution TTA event in support of Roger Hayes, a very good friend of mine. It's fantastic that all these people have turned out today. I'm delighted and I'm humbled by that. I'm here today with uh, Andy, who's Red Leader on the Freedom Rebel site, he's my sidekick, and the uh, venerable Norman Hinks, who runs normanhinks.com. So, a big thank you to everyone that's come today. Fantastic support from Roger, and this is the kind of thing we need to do absolutely regularly. Not just once or twice, we need to come together as a group of people, as a nation of people, as a nation of free people in this country, and say enough is enough, we're not tolerating this rubbish anymore, and we're going to show these people that now is the time to do that. What do you think, Bob? Absolutely. Totally. It's about time. Perfect. Perfectly said. So again, well done. Thanks for everyone for coming. <laughs> we'll see you later. Hey, keep it coming. So what we're going to do today, in this case, is if they refuse to produce their oath, we're going to attempt to create a grand jury of indictment and indict the judges for treason and arrest them. Roger Hayes, and we're going to do that under Article 61 of the Magna Carta, which is still law in force in this country. So we have the lawful right to do this. Okay, so these great people have come down, many come from all parts of the country, Scotland, Wales, the South, the East, to support Roger in this. of the government from these corrupt corporations that seek to oppress us by squeezing every last penny they can out of us. That is not is what the law is for. We're not a lawless people. We want to impress that. We need the law, but it must be common law. It must be common sense. But you can see the strength of the, yeah, the, the, the sentiment about this. Say, it's about, 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 about 300 turned up. Yes. Is it lawful rebellion? Yes, lawful rebellion. <laughs> which we're entitled to under Article 61 of the Magna Carta. They can't argue with that, yeah. although they try. And they, seem, they just want to railroad us and ignore us and oppress us financially. And it's got to stop. It's got to stop. This country's had enough. The people have had enough. You can tell. Look at this. Yeah, it's okay. So, right. Oh, I've got right, ladies and gentlemen, can I have the 12 smartly dressed individuals up first, please? So. If, you, if you're one of the twelve, can you come and stand behind me so I can know who you are? Hello. We're standing beside. Sorry? We're standing beside. One day. Apparently. Yeah. We're with the crew. Good man. Back on the road we go. Sorry. <laughs> Contempt of court and for treason. The police should do their job. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. What's your name? Sorry. Uh, I'm Roger. Roger the Hayes family. Ah, oh, right. Okay. We've arrested a judge today for treason and for contempt of court. 
We've asked the police to they do their job and, and, and arrest the judge also. Take the police have failed to do so. We are going to the police station now to lodge a complaint against the police and the judge. Thanks very Can much. Can I come with you? Yeah. You may. Absolutely. Love. Well, there was a perversion of, of, uh, of, the, of the rule of law. Um, none of my evidence was allowed, and the council were allowed to submit uh, fraudulent documentation. Are you representing yourself in court? Yes, I am. Yeah. You are. And we're going to the police station now to talk to a senior officer right. to lay a complaint yeah. that, that we have followed the process lawfully, we arrested the judge, and we have called the, on the police to assist us with that arrest. But of course, the police have completely reacted the wrong way and arrested the people who were lawfully arresting the judge. Okay. Yeah, we, we need to see the chief constable about this event with the court. A judge has been arrested for treason. The of the situation is today we arrested a judge in court for contempt of court for treason. Uh, we then asked the, the police constables there to arrest the judge. Uh, the police don't understand the law anymore and they just overreact and do all the wrong thing. The judge would not go on his oath of office. We asked him, I asked him three times. He refused to do so. That is treason. Uh, he knew what he was doing and he refused to put back in front of the police officers as well. What the police officers should have done is they should have correctly arrested the judge and, 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 and it should, should be going down there. Uh, procedure now. Clearly what's happened is that the, the police have overreacted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a complaint with the, uh, the Chief Constable. Uh, I, it looks like I have to go to Liverpool um, and you probably realise there's about 300 supporters here today who are here for a, um, a, for a rally. I'm one of them. Uh, obviously in, in, in terms of lawful rebellion because it's not the first time this happened. This is happening in courts all over the, the country. Um, I will be doing a, a full release sometime uh, in the next few days to, to, to bring people up to date with exactly what the situation is about uh, and clearly that the, the, the fact that uh, we've got judges in our court co committing uh, treason and are constantly in contempt of court, we need to do something about it and this is the first of, of what we believe is going to be many uh, cases of, of judges being arrested in court. Sure. I will, I will appear in front of a court, in front of a judge, when, when they are on the oath of office, because that's the only way we're going to get justice in this country. We have to have common law courts back. We've now got a series of administrative courts. These are not uh, uh, courts of justice. These are administrative process, and, and, and clearly it's unlawful. Sure. Hello. Um, I want to lay in information before a magistrate from the arrest warrant. And I want to do it straight away. You want to? I want to lay in information before a magistrate from the arrest warrant. Well, this gentleman does, and do it straight away. Who is it for, sorry? It's for the Chief Council of Merseyside. And So the bottom line is that we've got judges who are breaking the law in our own courts. So um, the message to judges is get on your own to office, stop perverting the court of justice and get behind the people because we have had enough. Yay! Yay!
you attempted to, to, to arrest him. We did arrest the judge. It's a civil arrest. Um, it's a civil arrest, and uh, I called on people to assist me in that process, and uh, law-abiding citizens did that. They arrested the judge. They detained him in the courtroom. We then called on the police, who actually witnessed the event, to assist in the process. The, lead, the police, once again, who do not know the law, reacted in completely the wrong way and arrested the lawful people who were arresting the judge. Uh, and that's why I've put down and made, uh, 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 and made a complaint that the chief constable will be arrested tomorrow because he's responsible for all his subordinates. Okay? So the, the, the situation is that we, have, we now have lawful people who are in the prison cells. This is a police state. We have got to stop this nonsense now. Okay? But surely people would say that the courts are there to do justice to, to, to allow us to move forward. In accordance with the law. In accordance with the law. And I can't emphasise enough. We are law-abiding citizens and we expect our judges to uphold the law. And the judges are not doing so. They are breaking the law. And I can't make That's more right. than that the fact. The bottom line is that they are breaking the law and they need to start realising that we've, we've had that the gross prejudice uh, What do you expect to happen tomorrow morning court? in the magistrates' We court? expect the police to do their jobs. We expect them to acknowledge that the we system. are behaving lawfully and we have asked the police to, to get on side with the people. We're asking the court officials to get on long side with the people. We're asking the good judges. We know there's good judges out there. There's one or two corrupt judges and we want those, those corrupt judges closed down. Anything else you'd like to know? Grand jury. Thank you, sir. Grand jury. Grand jury. And the long last one, please, the BBC. Okay. Thank you. That's good. Send it back. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. Thank you. I've been walking along the street oh, saying it's been, a might die, but carry on. Yeah, it's been a fantastic afternoon and we're really pleased that Roger Hayes got the job done so he got the judge arrested and the key thing is it was all done peacefully. Um, okay, a bit, of, you know, a bit of scuffle inside the court but that was probably in, inevitable but the main thing is to run these demonstrations it's got to be peace, peaceful and it's you guys, the guys over here and all the other people who turned up that are going to make it happen across the country. So. How many per day? Maybe a fraction more, and uh, it'll start moving across the country. But we've got to get rid of the politicians because they're treasonous criminals, is the word. So it's not to do with Europe. It's it's not to do with other things. It's it's treason in Parliament. That's yeah. it. Cool. Thanks Thank very much. you very much. The uh, the guy that arrested the judge asked the judge, "Did he understand?" And he said, "Yes." Wow. That's good. Okay. Bye, bye, darling. <laughs> I've got to go. Okay. See you soon, love. Bye. bye. bye.